Good morning, and thanks for joining us. I'm Veronica Brandon-Miller. And I'm Kelly davis Strasbaugh, And this is Goodwill, Minnesota's Good News. Where we get to share with you some of the good that's happening in our community. And there is so much good. And in fact, we have two fabulous people here who are going to talk about all the goodwill that they are doing in our community. Yes, and we have a great show planned for you today. But first, we want to remind you, as always, that every time you donate or shop at one of our stores, you are helping us change lives through the power of work. We're helping people get jobs and education, and it's just by doing that small act, you're helping us out a lot, helping us change the, the community. Changing lives through the changing power lives. of work. Yeah. And in fact, we have nine job connections around the community. That's Hardy, DeSoto, Sarasota, and Manatee counties. And I implore anyone who's looking for a job, come into one of our job connections. We actually sit down with you. We help you prepare a resume. We do mock interviewing, um, dress for success, pretty much anything to help you become more employable so you can be self-sufficient. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. It doesn't matter if you have a high school education, if you need to get a GED, if you have a PhD. It's hard finding jobs sometimes. You don't know where to look, you don't know where to go. So again, like Veronica said, you walk in, it's completely free, by the way. If it's free, it's for me. That's free. I love free things. <laughs> so you go in there, you say, you know, I, I'm just I'm having trouble finding a job. These are my qualifications. Maybe you need to learn English. Maybe that's your second language. Um, we can help you with that. Whether it's finding a job at Goodwill Minnesota, where we can help you with those um, items that you may need help with, or you want to find a job in the community, we can help with that as well. Our job connection specialists are so trained and so plugged into the community, they work with employers constantly to see what they have a need, what kind of employees they're looking for, and then they also work with the employees, the applicants, who to know what they need. It's, it's great, and we actually are starting to have people apply online for jobs at Goodwill Minnesota. So that's a great resource too. You can visit our website and, and find out how to apply online for jobs at Goodwill. Experience. But, Goodwill.org. As always. And so, um, yeah, the job connections are great. One of the things we talk about a lot is how to dress for an interview. And if you check out our last show, we gave some interview looks, and we're going to be doing that again. Uh, I think our next show, we're going to have a special one for men. So make sure you catch us next Sunday as well oh. at 9.30 a.m. on SNN. Excellent. Only on <laughs> SNN. But, yes, the job connections are great. So uh, we love having ambassadors in the community who help us spread the word about those job connection offices and we have some great ambassadors like our guests today. We have two amazing. Have two amazing guests. But do, I remember when I was looking for a job back then you would look, open up the paper and circle and that's where it was. That doesn't really happen nowadays. If you don't know computers it's really hard so we actually help you in those job connections. So experience goodwill.org. Check that's, it out. And I forgot to say this too. I'll say it real quick. Um, if you don't know how to apply online because you don't have a computer, our job connection offices, computers you can use. I yep. forgot to mention and that And we earlier. help you. And we help you with everything. So now let's now. start the show because we have two amazing, fabulous, awesome, beautiful, good looking, beautiful people. Supportive people. Um, first we have Lulu, morning co-host from 106.5 CTQ, love the station. Yep. And we also have Danny Ballou, who is also a Goodwill ambassador and both of them have amazing events that are coming up. So we love our we, Goodwill events. Why don't we just start with you, Lulu? Okay, well, good morning. Thank you for having me today. Big uh, fans, big, big fans. Big, uh, thank you so much. I'm big fans of you ladies as well and of Goodwill. Uh, but I'm so excited because we have a big event coming up and 106.5 CTQ is putting on the Young Guns of Country show, and it's actually presented by Goodwill, Minnesota. So thank you so much for that. Yeehaw! <laughs> this is the first Young Guns of Country show, so we are very excited. It's happening on Wednesday, July 29th, at the Sarasota Opera House. Who would have thunk it? Can you believe this? Mm -hmm. The Opera House? Wait a second. But, exactly. But, that doesn't sound like the venue for a country show. Well, you would be <laughs> wrong about that. <laughs> they are so kind, so gracious. They are letting us turn the Opera House into the Opry House. The like grand the Grand Old Opry, Opry House. Sarasota Opry. It. That's what's happening. It's an awesome venue. We're really excited about that. And then what's more, we're really excited about our lineup. We have scored some great artists, kicking it off with... Wait a minute. Thank you. Go ahead. You guys know how to do yes, it. Yes. Uh, one half of the band Sugarland, Christian Bush. Whoa. 
And not only, I mean, first of all, <laughs> exactly. First of all, he's great looking, talented, great songs, but he's also a spokesperson for Goodwill, yes. Oh, yes. as you know. Oh, Goodwill yes. International. Big fans. Yes. So that was a big score for, and it was an immediate yes from him as well, uh -huh. especially because it's in, in support of Goodwill. And, his, so. and I always tell people, check out his video, the trailer hitch video, because it actually features a Goodwill employee. It's give just it really, away. Give it away. You can't Love take it, it with you when you go. Great lesson for us all. Christian knows what to do. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we also have Cassidy Pope. Now she won The Voice season three. Mm -hmm. She was on Team Blake Shelton. I Cassidy voted for her. Pope. Did you? Oh yeah. Oh, See, yeah. I voted for Loved her it. more. I, I doubt it. I tweeted I think a lot I did, about yeah. that one. Did you really? I think I yeah. I so she owes list. us? Yeah, okay. I guess so, she does. Yeah, she has to give you thanks because she's got a great career going right now. Mm -hmm. And, she's and beautiful. boy, you're oh, welcome. Beautiful. Cassidy. And she can sing. So mm -hmm. we're excited about her. Then we have Drake White. He's awesome. this is young guns of country. So yep, mm -hmm. he's young, he's okay. hot, and is really gonna kick it up. And then we have Cadillac Three. Oh. So we have four great performers. And it's all going to happen on the Cool Today stage. Cool Today is turning the Sarasota Opry House into the Opry stage in the style of the Grand Ole Opry. So, I mean, this doesn't happen every day. Yeah, so no, it's, no. It's, it's huge. And on top of all of that, everything that I just told you, you get to see the show for free. Free? Free? It's free. We love free. <laughs> the only catch is you do need a ticket to get in. Oh, and I think I know where to get them. Do where you? would that be, Veronica? Make sure that you go to any of the large Goodwill retail stores and we'll be giving away tickets for free until they last. So mm -hmm. don't be waiting. Don't be saying, oh, this Sunday or next Sunday, you know, I'm going to make my way over to Goodwill. They, they won't might be not be there. They so there. today, today, make sure you go get your tickets yep. for free. But there's more. Oh, and there's but more. Wait, there's more. <laughs> go ahead. That's true. Uh, after the show, we're all heading on over to Joyland. There is an after party there, directly following the Young Guns show at the Sarasota Opry House. Come on over to Joyland, and you never know who's going to show up there. You never know if some of the artists that are performing that night may come. You never know. You never know. You never know. You never do. And on top of that, though, we're giving you the chance. We've got some cool giveaways. Um, we have a Cole Swindell autographed guitar. You can oh, register to win that. Cole mm -hmm. Swindell, another young gun. Yeah. And uh, we have Luke Bryan tickets, Toby Keith tickets, and that list I have a feeling is going to grow. Oh, I hope so. And let me just digress. Because there's someone in mind I have. Oh, you no. do? <laughs> oh. Taylor Swift. Oh. <laughs> I really want to go to Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's a big shock, October 31st. I get confused for her all the time. People are like, Taylor Swift. I'm like, no, Kelly. Yeah. I'm on I SNN. <laughs> You, that's, I think that's I see it. how that happens. Like celebrities yeah. now. So that's, yeah. I, it it's funny because people think I'm Jennifer Aniston. And I'm like, no. We can't go anywhere. <laughs> it's horrible. Can't go I can see that about you, too. You know, one thing I did really? leave out. We need a commentary. <laughs> yeah, we don't need commentary. Oh, and by the way, I just want to say that you guys were so strict about what artists you would allow on the stage because we both auditioned. And I know. we didn't make it. It's, it's so fine. I guess the four acts are going to be great. <laughs> we're saving you for something Something else. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, you know if it's going to be quite as big. This is, this oh, is it, a show, is right? It? Oh, we have this all for... We can edit this out. No. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. I'll have to stick to my no, guns then. I have then. proof. <laughs> young but guns. anyway, I, we're very excited. So just to reiterate, um, Young Guns of Country, Goodwill, with iHeart Media, 106.5 CTQ, will be having the Young Guns of Country at the Opera House, which, thanks... Jamie D. Domenico of Cool Today helped sponsor so we can turn it into the Grand Old Opera stage with this fabulous lineup, free tickets at all the large retail good locations. Mm -hmm. Get your tickets today. today. Um, if you're confused, where should I go? Experiencegoodwill.org. That's experiencegoodwill.org. Beautiful poster right there. Click and find out more information. And then the party afterwards at Joyland. That's it. This is going to be a great night. You don't want to miss it. And you're right. Those tickets are going to go by fast. They, They're going to oh, go fast. Uh, this, um, it seems like every day the, the van, the mm -hmm. 106.5 van, is going around um, at some of the Goodwill locations. Definitely listen to 106.5 CTQ and you can find out where the van's going to be next. Mm -hmm. And people are just like storming yes. getting tickets. Yes, so. that'll happen on Thursday again. And then we're giving away tickets on the air. We're actually giving away front row seats with eat and greet passes, which means you get to come backstage, meet the Free artists, food. and have food. Free food. So we're giving front row seats. you got to listen to 106.5 CTQ in the morning mm -hmm. for your chance to win. 
No, I listen to you guys every morning. It's so great. Thank you guys you. just do so much in the community. I mean, you're pretty and smart and you give back. I mean, oh, oh yes. Like you we said, this is recorded. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank. <laughs> it's out there now. Yes. Yeah. We, yeah. we and last week Lulu was one of the models for the little black dress event that Goodwill and the Girl Scouts of the Gulf Coast, Florida put together and you did fabulous. Such a good model. You <sighs> opened up the show. You had to, you were the first one to walk. I were was. You, were you scared? I was. I was like, no, I don't want to go first. And I'm like, no, you have to. But um, what a fun event. Thank you for that invitation. I, I loved it. You always do great things in the community as well. And your events are, are the best in the community. So thank you for everything you do. And I have to say real quick too, my mom always said, Kelly, you have a face for radio, you know? Which was so nice, right? Such a nice compliment. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. But um, Lulu, you're just so pretty and smart, and you're such a good ambassador that we love being able to have you on TV so people Aww. can see the face behind the voice. Yes. Well, again, thank you for the invitation. And I love being an ambassador of Goodwill, and I will be for the rest of my life. Oh. Thank you. And make sure you go on one of our social media sites, including Facebook at Goodwill Minnesota, mm -hmm. and you can see, in case you've missed the Little Black Dress event, we have fabulous photos and videos mm -hmm. and videos of the Girl Scouts interviewing you how you became in radio they were little dolls they were that was a that was a blast the video making oh, the video I, um, for those of you who don't know Lulu um, I'm just gonna do a tidbit <laughs> of information yeah. your sister and you used to have they were the house band for Donald Trump Yes. In uh, his casino. Yes, in Atlantic casino. City. That is fabulous. That's yeah. so cool. That was a good time. That was a good time. Let me just say, it maybe who I am today. Well, <laughs> you did that. It was a know. good time. You were in Nashville. Yes. I mean, I, I, you were talking about a TV show. What did you do for the TV show? Oh, geez. This was a long time ago. And um, I was working at one of Trump's properties in the band with my sister, but I met somebody. I was always drawn to the broadcast industry. That's really what I wanted to do. So I met somebody that had a production company, and then they were doing this new little show on a cable network uh, on real estate and interior design. I'm like, can I be one of the hosts? That's how this all began, really. I started doing that, and then I ended up in radio. That, I, I, <laughs> that's so When cool. she told me that, I'm like, it's funny, when Home and Garden Television came about, I was always that person. I'm like, oh my god, I could do it, I could do it. But then, if they didn't take my advice, I'd cry, <laughs> so I don't think I would really be the best. It's like, so that I'm career like, didn't no, happen. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So does that mean she started out with a TV show and is now like a world-renowned radio host? Does that mean that we have a future? Oh, we have a future in this? I think you do. And if you're watching, let the fan mail still come, you know, because we're, we're always looking at, you know, what else we could do to mm -hmm. help um, bring good news to the community. So if you have good news, definitely reach out to us at experiencegoodwill.org. And we find that a lot of people like Lulu, sometimes we have to force them into talking about the great things that they do. Um, they're, they're very modest and humble. Um, so if you know somebody you can nominate, if, you, if they're interested in being on the show, that would be fun too. Yes. Kind and of forcing them. <laughs> it's always fun. <laughs> but we're going to keep you here because we're actually going to need your help here in a few minutes. But Thank you for being a Goodwill Ambassador. And to learn how to become a Goodwill Ambassador, I also encourage people to go to good, or experiencegoodwill.org and learn about our Lunch and Learn so you can know more about Goodwill. And we have one coming up on July 28th at our corporate campus. If you're interested, the details are on our website. Yes. So you came to a Lunch and Learn, you fell in love with us, you became a Goodwill Ambassador, and we adore you. And also, our next fabulous guest, is Danny Ballou, who is another Goodwill ambassador who came, found out. In, in fact, I, I think you know more about Goodwill than I know about Goodwill. And you still love us. Thank you. Yes, without a doubt. <laughs> but we're partnering together on a fabulous event. Do you want to talk about? Well, yes. And first, I'd just uh, like to thank, uh, thank you for having me on here. And it's a pleasure to be an ambassador of Goodwill. And I think I've been to stores all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the South to the North, as I've traveled around America in, in, in my travels. Um, many of you know I, I, I wear a few hats in town, but the, the hat I'm wearing today is just someone from the community. Uh, you know, on August 14th of this year, uh, it's going to be the anniversary, the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II. And what we're going to do here, there is a national movement called the Spirit of 45 
to recognize those men and women of the greatest generation and what they did for our country. So uh, what we're doing, uh, the first uh, program will be on August 14th at 11 o'clock at the Unconditional Surrender Statue. Uh, Jack Curran, the gentleman who paid for the statue and brought it here, and some of his veteran friends are putting together a, a, a show of ceremony, actually, uh, from 11 to 12. And then on Saturday, this is where we're teaming with Goodwill, and I'm so happy to be doing this, because you all, when you do an event, it's just fun and, and exciting, and it just goes off real smooth, and I, I like that. So uh, we're going to uh, turn the Roberts Arena into a 1940s theme dinner uh, club, and we want to invite first World War II veterans, because you know, they're the ones we want to get there, because we really want to say thank you to them, and, and just let them enjoy a nice show. Uh, we're going to have a big band. Uh, we're going to have some, some guests show up, uh, Andrew's sisters, uh, a few others in the making are, are going to be coming there uh, just for their entertainment so they can just sit and relax and have dinner. Um, that's going to be, we're going to open the doors at 3.30 and we'll start the, the, they'll be able to come in and listen to the big band music and, and maybe do a little uh, swing there on their way to the table and, and uh, we'll have dinner. Uh, and, then, and then we'll give a thank you to the, the veterans. Now, it's, it is open to other veterans too, but we, we are trying to, to highlight and get as many World War II veterans we can, we can get there. And also, besides the dinner, at the same time, we're opening up half of the stadium seating in the Roberts Arena, and you know it's pretty good size, for anyone that would like to come free and just enjoy the show, let our World War II vets and our other veterans that are there, how supportive we are of what they've done and what they're doing now. So that'll be exciting too, and, and we're really looking forward. Um, we're wanting to have kind of a, uh, a cheering section outside as they come up and to park their cars, um, waving flags and, and, and different things, and maybe signs just to uh, you know, thank them for, for what they did. So that's what's gonna be happening on the, uh, the 15th. And that one there is, is where we're having sponsorships. So if, if you feel you'd like to sponsor a, a veteran or two or a table, uh, there is an opportunity. You can go to experiencegoodwill.org and you can sign up and, and uh, it would be a great thing to uh, sponsor a table so we can uh, show our veterans really how much we, we care about them and that we thank them for what, they've, what they do and what they've done. And then uh, on August 16th, the Sunday, uh, at 6 o'clock out at Patriot Plaza at the Sarasota National Cemetery, we'll have a memorial service. And that will be for those that gave their ultimate sacrifice in theater and also those that have passed since um, August of 1945. So uh, it'll be a Memorial Day service similar to what you've probably been to, but there's going to be one little uh, thing, a little extra. We're massing, trying to mass 70 trumpets. Um, first started out to be just 70 trumpets to do the echo taps. If anybody has been to a memorial service, you know you have taps, but then sometimes you have maybe two trumpeters, one doing the first part and the other one doing the second part. But we're uh, working towards having 70, so we'll have 35 doing the third, first part, 35 doing the second part. So really it'll be nice. something that I've never been a part of, but I will be a part of it because I do play the trumpet, and when they allow me to toot my horn, I like to. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I will be a part of that. And, and Gary Reinstrom from uh, the Jacobites in the First Brass has been helping me put that together. And, and we're up to 35 trumpets, so if, if you ladies or anybody else out there knows of any trumpeters, they could you know, give me a call at uh, you know, 941-685-0628, and I'd be glad to, to get them on the schedule. Uh, because it's going to be a neat thing and it'll just be a, and then we'll present wreaths uh, to the cemetery so they can have out there in, in memory and honor of those World War II veterans and also other veterans. We asked you to bring your trumpet today and you're all like no I don't want to ruin the surprise <laughs> and it's bummer but it, it's going to be fabulous and just to reiterate um, definitely go on experiencegoodwill.org and it, it gives the list of activities mm -hmm. but on August 14th it's the 70th anniversary at for the end of World War II. And this is a national program, Spirit of 45. It's a national program. And out of all the people, there was one person who said, do you know what, we need to bring it here. And that was Danny Ballou. Right. So I want to give you so much credit because y you yourself are a veteran. You care a great deal. You want to help um, support those who've served. And by doing this glorious thank you, 
it's going to be beautiful. So the 15th is going to be a free event, and we're encouraging everybody to bring their families out to the unconditional statue. It's, it's going to be just a wonderful educational learning experience. So bring the children, bring the families, um, and that's on the 14th, the 15th. This, exactly what you said, this would be ideal. Just picture as all the World War II veterans or the, any veteran is driving up to Roberts Arena. Wouldn't it be great oh having as many people in our community outside with banners and posters and just applauding? I'm giving this a okay, I'm about to crying. I almost cry every show. And this Honoring is, point, and <laughs> the <laughs> veterans as they come in. And yes, you have an awesome lineup with the Andrews Sisters and a 1940s band. I love that music. Yes. But we also have surprise um, speakers, mm -hmm. uh, a photo montage, and a lot of great things going on. And include your other half of the show, Maverick Johnson, is going to be the MC for that dinner. Now, we're looking for sponsors. So please, if you could go to experiencegoodwill.org. And there's opportunities to help sponsor so every veteran's meal is covered. And that's important. So please consider this a great tax write-off. Right. We'll send you a beautiful letter. Um, but also for the general public, if you wanted to enjoy the speakers and the music, like you said, the bleachers um, are free. So if you come and you can help welcome as they walk in, we'll sh uh, show you upstairs and it's going to be fabulous. And then how can anybody pass up on the 16th 70 trumpeteers for the 70th anniversary? That is going to be amazing. That, so if anybody else wants to toot their own horn, please reach out to Danny Ballou or Goodwill, and we'll make sure that we hook you up. I love all these puns, though. I'm just loving oh, the you trumpeter like horn. <laughs> yeah. and, well, um, I'm hoping that we have 35 trumpeteers watching the show. So that would be really great to have them reach out. But I just, all that you do in the community with all your different hats, which the one you're wearing right now, I meant to tell you, it, it looks great. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, but is, is there any, how did you get involved in doing all this besides being a veteran yourself? I mean, what, what made you really want to, let's bring this event to Sarasota. Well, five years ago, a young lady from uh, Sarasota Military Academy, Raven McKay, um, came to me and said, I'd like to do a 65th anniversary. And so I said, well, I'll help you kind of behind the scenes because it was all about her and her school project. She was a senior that year. And so we, uh, I helped her. We put it together actually pretty quickly. And we had it at 6 o'clock in the evening on the 14th. And we had probably 100, 150 people there. Uh, and we, she brought her trumpet. I brought mine. We got another trumpeter. I, I got a drummer that used to be in the Army. And, and uh, I've played with him before. And, and we went through the service songs and, and uh, recognized our veterans, our World War II veterans. And our speaker that, uh, that evening was actually a World War II veteran that was not only in Pearl Harbor, but also underneath the waters of Japan on VJ Day. So it was kind of an, a, neat, uh, a neat program, and it was neat for her, and she's gone off to college now, and, and uh, I'm, hoping she, I'm, hoping she'll, I'm hoping she'll come back and, and be one of the trumpeters. So uh, it was just a, a and, and of course my father was in World War II. Uh, he was on a ship um, in, the, in the Navy, and, and, uh, and, and also he, um, um, uh, anyway, he, he, he loaded the guns. So uh, that's what he did and, uh, on, a, on a destroyer. And he put his two years in and then came back home and started a family so, on the farm. It's clear so. that you're just super passionate and we love having passionate people in our community. You're doing so much good will. Mm -hmm. So thank you, thank you. And yeah. all the events we just talked about, the Young Guns of Country and the Spirit of 45 events, please go to experiencegoodwill.org. If for some reason you don't have a computer, Call us, 941-355-2721, 941-355-2721. And now we have a very special section. I call it the Kelly's Corner, but it's actually fabulous finds in five minutes, and now it's your show. Okay. Yeah, oh, pressure. <laughs> so we've been talking about two great events, um, but I, when I assembled the two outfits today, I, I went with a Young Guns theme, and I was like, okay, you know what? I've heard a couple people ask me, oh, it's at the Opera House. What should I wear? And I'm like, not a dress, not, not a fancy a opera dress. Okay, Do, leave the gloves at home. We're gonna we're gonna go country. So um, something I'm very passionate about. I love 
love country music. Um, so we have two outfits today, and we're going to play a game called, well, Fabulous Finds in Five, but who paid less? So I actually did a female outfit and a male outfit, as you can see, and so they're both country themed. So you're going to guess which outfit costs less, and I'm going to break it down. We have each outfit has some kind of a bottom. We have a skirt and pants, uh, boots, the cowboy and cowgirl hat, and we have a top and an undershirt for both outfits. So if you had to say who paid less, what outfit would you would you say? I'm not going to tell you brands or anything right now. And it's on the screen it's right now. It's on the now, screen. So, do you think the woman was smarter or the man was smarter? And this one is actually a little bit tricky. I will I will give you that. I've I've been trying to trick my guests. Uh, uh oh. Am I going first? Yes, you're yeah. going to go first. I'm going to say that the woman paid less. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't shop for women's clothes, but, <laughs> you know, and I do know most of the men's prices over there, right. even in the boutique and that. So. Uh, I'm going to say the man paid less. Okay, so we have a battle of the genders going on. <laughs> all right, all right. I love okay, it. so I'll go through the outfit real quick for the lady's skirt. It's white, it's got buttons, it's got great detail, it's kind of flowy. Um, that's an ink skirt. You can find those at Macy's. She has a Zara basic blouse, which I found those online, a loft camisole, Kaya boots. Um, and a pink girl, cowgirl hat. So the skirt retail, I found them for around $50 and up. Um, the blouse was around 25, the camisole was around 20 from the loft, because I love their camis, but they're a little expensive. The boots, I found them for around $70. And the cowgirl hat, I saw similar ones online. I'm not gonna say it was the same brand, but I saw similar ones online for anywhere from $200 and up. Um, our prices, $4.99 for the skirt, $7.99 for the boutique blouse, $4.49 for the tank top, $24.99 for the boots, and $19.99 for the cowgirl hat. That means the ladies' outfit was $62.45 before tax. The retail cost would be $2.35 and up. So the, a quarter of the price. A quarter of the price. And you might only wear it one time, but for those prices, I mean, who cares? The men's outfit, so the lady was $62.45. The men's outfit, we had some Target jeans. They retail around $25 and up. We have them for $5.99. Uh, make sure your man looks good, ladies. Mm -hmm. A Joseph A. Bank button-up shirt retails for $64.49. American Eagle knit shirt retails for around $20 and up, $4.49. Dr. Scholl's boots, people, what? which retail for around $150. We have them for $34.99 in our Treasure Island mm. section. And, um, and they're back there now, so y'all can go get them. And the cowboy hat, again, around $200, um, $11.99. <laughs> Brand new. So uh, $61.95. So they were within like a dollar of each other. Oh, even. so it so was, was, it a was a yeah. But that outfit <laughs> normally would cost $305. So see uh. what I mean? It's one event. You may never wear it again. Go to Goodwill. I would wear awesome all stuff. of them. I know. I actually was like, oh, this blouse yeah. is cute. My size. Fabulous, um, so, fabulous. So you both kind of one loss. So sorry. <laughs> we'll take that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I <laughs> want to thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing all the wonderful good news that you are doing in the community. And we love having you as goodwill ambassadors. And until next time, I hope everyone will go out into the community and do goodwill. Thanks for joining us. And we will see you next Sunday at 930 on Goodwill Minnesota's Good News. And if your friend missed the show and you want to share it with them, check our Facebook.